Welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle. I don't know why he's still nervous. Why are you still fucking nervous? The last video was good. That first waffle was good, man. Some good likes, good good comments. The Bacon Brigade came through. They're talking. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, no, okay. shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Guys, welcome to yet another waffle. There's only been two waffles. Welcome to the second waffle in a series of waffling events. I am your host, Eddie02, and I'm going to get into some Man United stuff. We saw, we saw Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Props to Ole. I already said that in my previous video. Thank you for being the guy who got that Champions League goal as a player. Thank you for getting consecutive qualification for Champions League. Thank you, but no thank you for that football that you put us through. You put us through some bad football, that Ole ball, that passion ball, which you tried to put the sole emphasis on running and no intricacies on tactical interplay all the things that football fans like to see you didn't want to drill uh, the passes you didn't you didn't want to link up people in formulaic runs things like this so it had to be goodbye to you but thanks for your service goodbye sir you did do what you what you could, but it was always gonna end in a shipwreck. It was always gonna be lost at sea. Always going to hit that iceberg, okay? I mean, it did seem at some point that Ollie was going to survive. It did seem like he could survive nuclear blasts, almost like a legendary cockroach. The players, they, they, were, gonna, they were suffering too. I mean, Ollie got 500 million, a buffet worth of players. Maguire, 80 million. Bruno, all them millions. Sancho, Tellez, Ahmad, Wambasaka, 50 million. Van der Beek, 40 million. Varane, 30 million. And the King Ronaldo, another 20 million. Now, if you can't make that buffet of players work, then you should have no right to stay at the team. And Ole has gone. The Glazers, their ignorance has not been bliss. It's led to us being a laughing stock, being the, 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 the circus, the new circus in town. We should not be competing with Arsenal for the banter. They are the rightful banter club like they were last season. We should not be battling with Arsenal for the undisputed banter championship. They should have all the banter belts because they're the ones that, that were sink, sinking first. They sunk first to just be the top four team, then top eight team. Take your banter back, Arsenal. We're coming for you guys because we now have, we now have the godfather of the Gagan press. We now have an interim manager coming in. It's no longer banter. It should not be any longer the banter that we've seen with Carrick at the world. Even though we got a win, fair enough, got the win in the last game. But pretty much it was still on a ball, weren't passing that well weren't controlling the game, had about 30% possession in the last game, got goals from mistakes. Yeah, it, it was what it was, it was on a ball. But now we have Ralph Ragnick, the guy who innovated high pressing football, counter attacking high press football, just philosophy behind high intensity, heavy metal football. We've now got Ralph Ragnick. So now th this is the Glazers doing something finally that is that is a good decision and it's long overdue. It is long overdue and I can't wait to see this get put into practicality. And it's coming up to Christmas time. We have our Father Christmas. It's Father Ralph Ragnick bidding to give us a merry Gagan press. 
We wish you a merry gig and press. We wish you a merry gig and press. We wish you a merry gig and press and a happy new year. High pressings we bring to you when you're attacking. We wish you a merry gig and press and a happy new year. We've got to get some. <laughs> We've got to get some presents from Father <laughs> Father Christmas. We've got to get some presents from Ralph Ragnick. The, the saviour at near Christmas time. I want to see Gagan Press in that sack for the presents. Christmas has come early for Man United fans because we may get some good football yet. We may get some good football. But that was my rant. That was my waffle. And keep tuning in for more waffles, more animation, more content. Like and subscribe if you're liking it. Ralph Ragnick at the wheel. Let's go.